signs of a hockey takeover can be seen outside T-Mobile Park, but inside, the hard work of turning a baseball field into a hockey rink is underway. It will probably go till 8 or 9 o'clock tonight because uh, today's a really big day. It's, it's what we call Ice Pan Day. Uh, so they're putting down the actual pans that uh, we run the refrigerant through to, to freeze the water. Today, the NHL Executive Vice President of Events says the process of starting to build the ice should start Saturday. That's where they really step up now and start. Um, you know, slowly building the ice and then lines and logos, painting white, all that uh, will they'll take over the ring. This is big progress. The ice truck arrived on Sunday night. This is what the construction looked like just two days ago as crews brought in the stage decking that goes under the rink. We started here Sunday and uh, we will be going right up until uh, probably the 23rd, take a little break for a couple days for Christmas and then be right back at it. Not only is T-Mobile Park expected to fill with fans, but next door outside Lumen Field, there will be a free two day festival for the public. Bars around the park are preparing for the crowds too. Hopefully full house and overflow, so get here early. The press box sits just outside the home plate entrance and they're ready for a full weekend of festivities. Monday morning, yeah, we'll be open at 7 a.m. We got a Bloody Mary bar. We're gonna have the best pregame brunch tailgate going for the hockey game. The bar owner says since hockey fans are usually in uptown before games, they're excited to host them right here in Soda. We were just talking about it like, man, this is perfect outdoor hockey weather right now. So we're excited to see how the fans do it. We love the transformation the stadium is doing. And as this transformation continues, each day is just one step closer to the final touch when fans will start their 2024 at the Winter Classic. I mean, I could say I'm hoping for it, but I'm pretty confident we're going to get a great atmosphere. And this is the first time the Kraken or the Golden Knights have played in a Winter Classic game, Joyce. So how does the weather play a role in keeping the rink in game ready condition? They say that a minimal amount of rain would not hurt the ice because it would just freeze. But here at T-Mobile Park, we have a roof, so they don't really have to worry about that. They say they will keep the roof closed through construction and hope to have the roof open on game day. Back to you. Connor Board reporting from T-Mobile Park tonight.